it turns out the hidden achievements are not so hidden. As I see guides in my recommended every time I try to go on YouTube and watch my Dami Mommy ASMR before I head to sleepy. As a QA tester for GMB, we already knew and had access to the instructions to each of the hidden achievements. And we were told to keep them on the down low for a week or so to let the community try to find them out. But on the first fucking day the update dropped, I already had someone in my Discord server with a full-ass Google document explaining how to do everything. You guys are crazy. So now that the beans have spilled all over my fucking dress pants, let's discuss the hidden achievements. Before we begin, a quick tip. Using any admin commands will basically halt the progress of getting the achievements. So cheating is not allowed. Good luck. I will be discussing these from easiest to hardest in my opinion, with the first one being To Hell We Go. To Hell We Go is achieved by killing 10 plus zombies while cooking a grenade. My dumbass has failed this many times because I get grabbed last second while trying to do this, which I'm sure is the main problem for most of you as well. You have to be holding the grenade and blow up around 10 zombies all without being grabbed. You cannot cook a grenade and then drop it on the ground to then blow up with everyone in the proximity. That would be called being a terrorist. Successfully doing this will unlock two blemishes for you to use, heavily damaged and shrapnel scarred. And they are a bit gory, ooh, especially this one. Look at his face meats coming off. The next hidden achievement is evening redness in the west. For this one, a team is needed. But in order to get this achievement, you have to complete a campaign map with the Marston command. And the Marston command basically turns your character into John Marston, who is the primary protagonist in Red Dead Redemption. Campaign maps, for those who don't know, are objective maps. And we got a huge list, so feel free to pick. No need to grab the short straw. If I were you, I would choose Vardahus Fortress. It is super easy. This will need to be done in a private server or in a public arcade server. And before starting the map, give everyone the Marston roll. And the easiest way to do this would be slash at all Marston. And this will apply to everyone alive in the match with the Marston character. If this has been done correctly, the server owner should get a message saying best to not use any other admin commands. And with that, you are ready to begin the match. Successfully doing this will unlock the Outlaws shadow beard and the american outlaw hair the next hidden achievement is the untouchable and yes guys this is how you get the meat melee weapon you can stop, stop asking, asking me in order to get this achievement you have to complete a campaign map without taking damage and also do one of three tasks healing your teammate five times using the crucifix five times or gaining 200 kills the easiest way in my opinion using the crucifix to the people who saw me not do shit on leipzig while using chaplain and randomly crucifixing the wall no, I'm not crazy. I was just doing this challenge. And to those asking, no, you cannot take the slightest amount of damage and get healed by a surgeon for this to count. You have to complete the map without taking any damage. Successfully doing this will unlock the delicious leg melee weapon. It does 10 damage, which is 15 less than the chaplain stake. It swings one tenth of a second slower than the chaplain stake, has a one penetration, a max distance of six, and no headshot multiplier. If you couldn't tell already, this is the worst melee weapon in the game. It is a piece of meat. What did you expect? The description says the best melee weapon in the game. All bragging rights reserved for unlocking untouchable. And the stat description says a piece of a delicious leg. It looks so good that you forget it came from a diseased cow. Bragging status. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I want to see what you guys have to say. And the last hidden achievement is alone at the end of the world. To do this, you have to complete 20 waves by yourself. Complete 20 wave solo, by far the hardest hidden achievement to get. In order to know that you did activate this correctly, while you're in a server by yourself and you start an endless match, there should be some text at the top left that says, perhaps you truly are alone. And once that comes up, then you're ready to start. You gotta survive by yourself for 20 waves. And I'm sure there are some guides that strictly talk about specific ways to easily get this, but I'll just go ahead and explain how I got mine. I completed 20 wave solo on the new endless map, Tyrolean Village. And the class I played was Sapper, and my loadout was the Sapper's Axe and the Grenades. I primarily stayed behind the church the entire time, and never once had to really move out of that area. I built barricades all through the back and used those as stopping points for big explosions. Or, aka, I cooked my grenades and I let a big portion of the horde explode while they were trying to destroy my barricades. There is a spot behind the church where the zombies pathfinding does get a bit messy, but I think this has been fixed with the most recent patch notes. And if not, the zombies tend to go back and forth around the church depending on where you stand. 
literally. And that is my guide. There is no better way to explain how I did so. It wasn't too difficult, actually. Successfully doing this, we'll unlock the red tinted glasses and the French fork beard. And with that, we come to an end for this video. I want to know, do you guys have any hidden achievements completed so far? And if so, which one is the hardest? Hopefully this guide helped you guys out and good luck on the journey for 100% completion. And with that, guys, that's going to be it for me. My name is JMT and I will see you in the next one. Peace out, everyone.